Hey friends, I'm back and this next video is about Google File Store, GCP File Store, which is a method for storing data in the cloud that provides servers and applications access to data through shared file systems. We also know it commonly as NFS and uh, it is very useful for certain cases where you have to have shared repositories across organizations. So as any file that is stored in the cloud can be accessed through a mount point on your local system and this mount point can be shared across the organization. So in this video, we are going to do absolute basic. We are going to create a file store instance through GCP console. We are going to use a Linux virtual machine on Google Cloud Compute Engine and we are going to set up NFS, uh, which is the network file system. And then we are going to mind that, mount that file store on a local directory in that system using NFS. So to begin with, uh, we will navigate to the Google Cloud Platform console and uh, we will go to file store and we will create a new instance in our default project. You can use your own projects. Uh, I'll click on create instance on the top. I'll name it as NFS test uh, instance FS. I'm going to use a standard tier which would be included in my free tier and the max minimum capacity is one terabytes. Um, I'm going to take check the network as default. You can use your own VPCs, um, whichever VPC you have your system or infrastructure in, you can select that network over here. So the standard security rules apply. I'm going to take the zone as any and region as US Central. And I'm going to choose a file share name. File share name is going to be the name which is used in the command while mounting the file system on your local virtual machine. So I'm going to name it as fs underscore share. Um, and uh, it asks for a file share capacity. It is a capacity of your file system I'm going to take as one terabytes and as you can see the maximum you can give is 63.9 terabyte of space and uh, there are advanced option where you can add descriptions and tags and other things but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on create so notice that it is going to take some time and meanwhile it takes time we're going to set up an instance and uh, we're going to see if if NFS is working on that instance. So I have a test instance ready and I have created it in Red Hat Linux 6. We are going to take access to the system and we are going to set up NFS on this. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once I receive the shell of my system. So my shell is up and uh, before anything I would install the relevant NFS packages on the system. I prefer to do it as root. So I'm just click on yum install um, NFS utils package. And, uh, again, this process is going to take some time. So as soon as I pr prompt Y, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check if our files, file store instances all set up and running. And uh, once both the ends the NFS has been provisioned and the file store has been provisioned that's where we make it mounted so we're gonna wait let me pause the video and wait until this thing has been installed there you go the NFS has been installed on my instance all I have to do is now start the NFS service and as you go, the service has been started. So now I'll go back to my compute engine uh, GCP console and I'm going to try and see if my file store instance is up. So there you go. It is up and running. And the other way to check is to go to the cloud shell and run a simple command. First, we will set the project so as I told in my previous video what we do is first we run a command gcloud 
projects list and it gives me a list of projects and then we take the project ID of the project in which we have created our resource and then we um, run the command gcloud config set project and then we are going to paste our project ID and uh, once we set this property we'll be navigated to our own project and uh, now there's a simple command gcloud file store instances list so it gives us the detail of the instance that we have just created so now you see that the IP address has been attached to our file store instance um, there is an instance name a zone tier and an IP so these are the two things the file share name and the IP address which we are going to use to mount our file store instance on our server we come back to our server and uh, we just copy this IP then we are going to see if the NFS file system store that we have created on our GCP console is visible to my instance in the same VPC so I run a simple command command show mount hyphen E and I just paste the IP of my file store here and then I just hit enter so it is visible I see a file system share and I see it is visible to my system so it is mountable what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a test directory make their test and uh, uh, if I list out the directory okay let me make this so there you go I see a test if I navigate inside the test I'm gonna see a path which is root hyphen test now I'll just check what all mount points are there to see if to show you if I have already mounted this or not so it is not available as of now so now I'm going to run the mount command so as we see that it is available to us now all we have to do is we go to mount um, the NFS so we're going to just run the command mount hyphen T and the service is NFS then we're going to copy this IP and we're going to paste it over here and we're going to mention the name of the file system that we're going to uh, mount and then we're going to use the name of the local directory that we created I think it was something like test uh, hit enter now I think the mount directory has been mounted on the local directory we're going to just run a df hyphen HP command and now there you go we see a one terabyte file system mounted on a local directory root test just for testing purposes we're going to navigate to the directory and we're going to create a test file and if you see we're able to create a test file so there you go uh, the mount, unmounting is as simple as mounting you just run a command u mount and then you give the name of the local directory and the file system is unmounted so mounting a file store is similar to mounting any other directory so since I am inside the directory it is not letting me u mount it now I think I'll be able to and if I run a df-hp now I don't see it anymore so what I can do is I can just go ahead and I can delete my file store and uh, all I need to do is type the instance ID and I'm good to go so this is it friends this is how you might mount a Google file store on a compute engine virtual machine thank you so much for watching I'll keep you posted with further coming videos thanks a lot for joining thank you